First, I'd like to thank organizers for giving me a chance to talk here. Okay, I'll talk about bounds on eigenvalues for distance regular graphs. And this is joint work with Gabriel Luke and Professor Jack Cullen. And this is in progress. Okay, first I will introduce two main objects of this talk. The first one is this is a distance regular graph. A graph gamma is called oh I'm sorry. A graph gamma is called distance regular if for any two vertices x, y at distance i, there exist integers a i, b i, c i, such that y has c i neighbors at distance i minus one from x and a i neighbors at distance i from x and b i neighbors at distance i from 1 at distance i plus 1 from x. And this, the second one is a T work regular graph. In 1997, Lorenzen showed that distance regular graphs can be characterized in terms of the number of works between two vertices. That means this number, that means the number of works only depends on the length of works and the distance between two vertices. Motivated by this characterization, maybe in 2007, Darfur et al. introduced the T work regular graphs like this. A graph gamma is called T work regular if for any two vertices x, y at distance i and most t, the number of works of length L between X and Y only depends on the distance between two vertices. So that means this, this concept, the, the, the T work regular graphs are generalizations of distance regular graphs. Is L arbitrary? Yes, L arbitrary, yes. Then in this case, the, oh, I'm sorry, uh, in the previous, for distance regular graph, the numbers AI, BI, CI are called intersection numbers. Oh. And for T work regular graphs, the intersection numbers CI, BI, CI AI, BI are well defined for I and most T. Okay, then I, I will introduce some definitions. First, let gamma be a connected graph and the distance i matrix AI is the matrix whose rows and columns are indexed by the vertices of the graph gamma. And the xy entry is 1 whenever the distance between x and y is equal to i and 0 otherwise. And the adjacent matrix A of the graph gamma is equal to A1 and the eigenvalues of the graph gamma are the eigenvalues of the adjacent matrix. And for an eigenvalue theta, the matrix E, that is U times U transpose, is called a minimal idempotent associated to the eigenvalue theta, theta, where the columns of U form an orthonormal basis of eigenvectors with eigenvalue theta. Then we can characterize T work regular graphs like this. Uh, the gra a graph gamma is T work regular if and only if for a fixed eigenvalue theta with I minimal idempotent E, there exists constant alpha j such that uh, aj en entry wise product E is equal to alpha, alpha j times aj. And for every vertex x of the graph, of the graph gamma, we denote x hat, we denote, we denote by x hat the axis law of u. Then the map x to x hat is called the representation of gamma. Then this condition says that the inner product of x hat and y hat is depends only on the distance between two vertices x and y if the distance is at most t. 
Okay, now we look at some examples. The first graph is octagon. Yeah, we, we can easily see that this is this trivial distance regular graph. And then we consider three cochlear extension of this graph. Then these two red vertices have six common neighbors and they are at distance two. However, these two blue vertices have only three common neighbors and they are also at distance two. So that means this graph is not distance regular. But you can easily see that this graph is one work regular. And then, and also the T arc transitive graph, graphs are at least T work regular. Then from the first one, we can easily see that one arc transitive graph, graphs are at least one work regular. But, but however, however, the, the but if one arc transitive graph have balance three, then they are at least two work regular. And also the symmetric bilinear forms graph has as vertices the symmetric m by m matrices over FQ, where two vertices are adjacent if their difference has rank one. Then for Q even and N and list four. This graph is not distance regular, but it is true work regular. Okay, then now I will introduce our motivation. Many results on distance regular graphs with representation theory also work for true work regular graphs. Then these two results are is the some examples for this one. And this result, these re two results were shown by Toriga for distance regular graphs. Let gamma be a distance regular graph with, graph with balance k and diameter d, and Sarah i's are distinct eigenvalues of gamma with multiplicity mi, and delta is a local graph with eigenvalues eta1 to eta k. Then, the smallest local eigenvalue eta k is at least minus 1 minus b1 over 1 plus eta1. This is the second largest eigenvalue of the graph gamma. And the second largest local eigenvalue eta2 is at most minus 1 minus b1 over 1 plus eta d. This is the smallest eigenvalue of the graph gamma. And also, if a multiplicity mi is smaller than k, then i is either 1 or d. And minus 1 minus b1 over 1 plus theta i is an eigenvalue of the local graph. But this re these two are also true for two work regular graphs. And also, the following result is shown for distance regular graphs. Let gamma be a distance regular graph with second largest eigenvalue theta 1 containing an induced quadrangle. Then the second largest eigenvalue theta 1 is at most b1 minus 1. And this result is also true for two work regular graphs. And Toriga and Neumeyer classify the distance regular graphs with theta 1 is b1 minus 1 by using a root, represent, root representation, where a root represent, representation is a map x to x bar such that the first, the inner product of x bar minus y bar and itself is 2i if the distance between x and y is at most 2. And second, the inner product of u bar minus v bar and itself is even integer for all u and v. And we would like to generalize this result, I mean the classification, to two work regular graphs. For two work regular graphs, we get the first condition for free, but 
that we don't have the second case for free. So that means main difference between two works, two work regular graphs and distance regular graphs is that we do not necessarily have a root representation. This is our main theorem and this is still we are still working progress. This is still working progress, yeah. Let gamma be a true work regular graph with second Rajas eigenberg theta one, balance K and diameter D and list three containing an induced quadrangle. If the second Rajas eigenberg theta one is B1 minus one, then the intersection number C2 is at most the six or the graph gamma is the gusset graph. Moreover, if, the, if C2 is at enli en least 4, then the balance K is at most 20A, or the graph gamma is distance regular. In this theorem, we assume that the diameter D is at least 3, because if the diameter D is 2, then the graph gamma is a strongly regular graph, and this case was done by Seder in 19. 68. Okay, now I will give the sketch of the proof. First, we consider an induced quadrangle with, with four vertices x, y, g, and w, such that x, g, and y, w are the two pairs of opposite vertices of the quadrangle. And, con we, and we also consider the representation associated to the second largest eigenvalue theta one. Then, this condition implies that x hat plus g hat is equal to y hat plus w hat. And this shows that each induced path of length two <coughs> lies in at most one quadrangle. Let delta be a local graph then this condition implies that any two distinct non-adjacent vertices of delta have C2 minus two or C2 minus one common neighbors in local graph. Moreover, if C2 is at least three, then any two distinct non-adjacent vertices of local graph have at least one common neighbor in delta. So the local graph is connected. And also, this condition implies that the local graph has smallest eigenvalue and least minus two. Then if we combine these three, then we get the following. If C2 and is at least three, then the local graph delta is connected regular graph with smallest eigenvalue and least minus two. Then we can use the following theorem shown by Brower et al. in 1989. And I also, I also remarked that the, in 1976, Cameron et al. showed a weaker version of this result. Let it be a connected regular graph with V vertices, balance K, and small eigenvalue minus two, uh, at least minus two. Then one of the following holes. The graph G is a line graph, or the graph G is complete multipartite graph, or the number of vertices V is at most 28, and the graph G is a subgraph of the Gusset graph or the number of vertices V is at most 27 and G is a subgraph of the Slafly graph or the number of vertices V is at most 16 and the graph G is a subgraph of the Clavsy graph. Okay then, if we use this result, we get the following. If C2 intersection number C2 is at least three, then one of the following holes. The local graph delta is a line graph. For this graph, any two non-adjacent 
disease have at most four common neighbors, and this implies that C2 at most six. Because in the previous biology, I, I showed that the, any two distinct non-adjacent vertices have C2 minus two or C2 minus one common neighbors. And the second, the local graph is a complete multipartite graph. For this case, we can easily see that the graph gamma is also a complete multipartite and it has diameter 2, so, ca so we can ignore this case. <coughs> and third, the balance K is at most 28 and the local graph is a subgraph of the Gasset graph. And fourth, the balance K is at most 27 and the local graph delta is a subgraph of the Slafly graph. For this case, we can show that the graph gamma is the Gasset graph, which is the locally Slafly graph. And fifth, the balance K is at most 16, and the local graph is a subgraph of the Clavish graph. And we can show that, uh, that this case cannot happen. Yes. Subgraph. Subgraph. Yes, yes, induced subgraph, yes. And moreover, if C2 is at least 4, then for any two vertices X and Y at distance 2, there exists an induced quadrangle containing X and Y. Then by induction, we can show that there exists a root representation. So this proved the theorem. Okay, now I'm closing this talk with some remarks. If the intersection number C2 is 6, then we know that the local graph is triangular graph. And if, and for the case, uh, C2, uh, the case C2 is 5 is likely not possible. And if the balance K is at most 28, that, that is for this third case. We need to check 163 possible graphs. graphs. And we can generalize our approach for this case. The second largest eigenvalue theta one is between B1 over 1 plus epsilon minus 1 and B1 minus 1, where epsilon is approximately 0 0.006594. And in this case, we are able to show that the intersection number C2 is at most 6, and the graph gamma is the Gasset graph, or the graph gamma is a complete multipartite. Be because Busmarker and Neumeyer showed that there's no graphs with smallest eigenvalue between these two numbers, then that implies that the, th this condition implies that the local graph also local graphs local graph has smallest eigenvalue at least minus two. So our approach also worked for this case. And also, we note that there are infinitely many distance regular graphs with this condition. For example, 4 did cubes, half the 4 did n cubes, and 4 did Johnson graphs. Okay. Thank you very much. That's all.